Hey, welcome back, Fuzz Toys. We're back again. This time we're heading to the Tangled Wood, which is the second optional mission. The last mission we picked up Diamond in the map that is either really, really hard to do because the wizard gets away, or really, really easy to do because you surround her with knights and bash her skull in. Anywho, I'm not sure what to expect from the Tangled Wood, but I guess I'll just avoid stuff until... Yeah, I think I'll just avoid everything until I get 100 experience, or the max experience. Oh, speaking of which, I almost didn't put my experience points in. Um, mana were maxed, health we might be able to use a bit more in. So yeah. I've been saying before, and I'll say it again, really, you only need about four talismans of each, otherwise you'll just have way too many spells. So, into the Tangled Wood. And, how many nights have I picked up? I've, uh... I think I get another knight here. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I get another knight here. And I have these two. Well, Ariadne can survive the poison from me. Oh, right, Ariadne got poisoned because she's really stupid. She's near Camelot, and the knights are gathering, ready for your arrival. I must be there as soon as I can. So you can be united with Ariadne? I think you have responded with that spoiled child. Do I detect a hint of jealousy, Hermes? Uh. You will need sharp vision for the battle ahead. In an old man Hermes area, you can never love this tired old body. But enough, have you scattered the area? There's a large castle nearby. No shit, Hermes, yet it seems abandoned. Still, one of the knights you seek may have found refuge there. So, if I recall, you don't want to go in there directly. Because you won't get... <sighs> Sir Cave, maybe? I think it's so Kay who's in there. Anywho, whichever knight in there, if I recall correctly, is a recovering alcoholic, or a current alcoholic, I guess, because he won't join you unless you give him a big old bottle of wine. And I think, in the ground outside the castle, there is one chest, and in it is one bottle of wine which you can't drink. Or, well, you can, but if you drink it, you lose... Um, okay, that's Galahad, that's Pelinor, maybe it's Percival? You, you lose the knight if you drink the bottle of wine. Anywho, uh, yeah, just scouring the area, there's always useful stuff. Hey, there's a little village. Um, more mana sprites, once again. If you always have an option between a place of power or a mana sprite, it's probably better to go for the mana sprite first, because if you're driven off the place of power, it's not doing that much for you anymore. But if you get the mana sprite, they give you a lot of mana, just in that one little burst. Like, most, most of the time for me, I find mana sprites are the difference between life and death in this game. If you have enough mana sprites, you should be alright in most situations, as long as you pack the right spells, namely Cure. Cure is always... Like, besides the first mission where you can't have cure because they give you the preset things, you should always have cure 100% of the time. There we go. Uh, oh, there's a manticore. Is that an invisible manticore? That is probably the evilest thing I have ever seen. An invisible manticore. Okay. I think he's got something to do with the, the, the fight later on. Anyway, here's the chest with the wine in it. You got a bottle of wine, I believe. Oh, I thought it was a swarm of bats, but that's way worse. Right. So yeah, luckily the knights stay with you in between missions. I'm gonna die. But yeah, the, the knights are very, very, very useful. And they're actually one of the reasons that the last level is actually kind of... Uh, the next level, I should say. It's definitely not the last. It's actually kind of simple, just because you start with three Lord Knights and a King Knight. Which are one of the strongest units in the game that don't come from Diamond. Okay, let's just rush in here. Hopefully Galahad's not going to take too long. Uh-oh, Mr. Man is right. Oh well. But yeah, Galahad, you shouldn't worry about him. In fact, if you have someone fighting, you should use Galahad, because he's undead. Whoever you are, flee this place as fast as you can. I see nothing to run from, Sire. You're one of the Round Table Knights. I'm Kay, loyal to Arthur, rightful King of Albion. No matter though Valerian will return, you will be imprisoned, tortured as I have. 
I'm an old man, but I'm powerful enough wizard to rival in the, any of the Overlord's vassals. With such a mighty wizard bear name, I'm Cornelius, nephew of Lucan. Tongue for other knights. Oh, he knows Lucan. Court of Arthur rang in praise of his skill and character. He must prepare for a terrible onslaught Valerian raises an army of darkness to serve the Overlord. He will return soon. You must fortify and prepare for attack. Ride out the attack, and you may be able to turn the tide against Valerian and slay him. And if it's okay, will you aid me in the task? Alas, I cannot. My spiritual battle has been shattered. I shall cower in my quarters until battle be done. Such a way, it's such a way and I can rebuild your courage? He is an alcoholic. <laughs> if I can find some wine so night and return to thee in thy quarters, will you? Will they join me? If such a thing were possible, I would gladly follow you. In which, in this case, take this bottle. Okay, so now this battle is really easy too because you have the knights, and there's only one way into here. Actually, there are a few, but only if he has flying guys. Really, though, this is a fairly simple battle. If you can just keep this gatehouse secured. Okay, so let's go join him. Even then, the gatehouse isn't that big of a deal. Mainly because I'm leaving it. Uh-oh. Was not expecting that. Uh, um, okay. So, let's get the K in here. I believe those are his quarters. Oh, I see vampire. Z yes. So, poor elves are all gonna die, but anyways. Right click is drop. Yes, it is. Or do I just have to run into him? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool, I didn't even have to drop the bottle. Let us destroy the evil in this place. I'm yours to command now. Oh, that's why they left him slightly injured, so he was supposed to walk on the bottle and drink it. But since I picked it up, he instead just walked on the... He walked to where the bottle was and joined me anyways. So, I did not know that. You guys can keep the bottle of wine if you want. Just drop it and then put it back. And kill that invisible manticore. I mean, come on. That is really evil. Okay. And, okay. So I'm just going to keep it the whole medieval theme, and there's going to be knights defending this castle, and elven archers. Just make sure that none of your lore knights die. Or at least any of the lore knights with, like, permanent abilities. How many invisible manticores does this man have? Jesus Christ. I've never seen a more annoying enemy than an invisible manticore. Actually, maybe I just have. I saw a batch with Excalibur. They might be really expensive, but you'd be surprised how much damage batch with Excalibur can do. Because you can get a lot of them, and the Excalibur is what gives them the big damage, and their speed comes from, oh shit, those are dragons. Um, okay, so. The battle's kind of difficult. It appears these dragons are illusioned, but I'm not gonna take any chances, let's rip them down with the knights. Where did all of these friggin' dragons come from? They're grey, so they're not part of the enemy, it seems. Oh no, knight, don't die. You were really expensive. But yeah, you definitely want to make sure you keep these points of power. Okay. Surviving the invasion would be probably another goal to go for, but you know, you can't win them all. Okay. My god. What is wrong with the man who makes okay. invisible manticores? Okay. At least they're not invisible dragons or invisible griffins. Man, these guys are pretty. Are these look like dragons and griffins. They're pretty devoted to duty. They're, they'd rather stay on the place of power and guard it than kill all of me and my knights. Okay. 
Because if these guys banded together, they could probably do some pretty serious damage. I'm just gonna get out there and say that. So... Yay, tornado! I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Anyway, now I can't. It's a little risky now because I have all my knights here and I don't want to drop, say, a knight next to a dragon. That would lead to me having one missing knight. Oh, he summoned the king. I think that's Galahad. Yeah, he's the undead one. Okay, so they're all game. Wait, what? Ah, oh, they can fly. And that was an illusion. Okay. Okay, so I think we've won the siege. And I'm dying. Um, don't die. This is probably one of the reasons why one should at least equip the Scythian bow or Excalibur onto the wizard. Okay, that is dead. Oh, that's a champion of chaos. That's a champion of chaos, and that's a champion of law. Where those guys came from, I have no idea. Okay, actually, new plan. We're going to leave the castle, because we have full mana and a bunch of knights. We're going to find Valerian, and we're going to kill him. Come on, guys. New plan. Follow the plan. There's a plan for a reason. No one's pestilenced. That's good. Okay, well, that guy's pestilenced. Is that a basilisk? Oh, I heard a wizard. Okay, well, as long as I have that one place of power, I should be alright. And because of it, I can probably get that one up there, too, if no one's guarding it. And then my loyal troop of knights shall just sort of charge and find Valerian and kill him and all that stuff. Though I have to admit, we didn't exactly survive the invasion. We just sort of left. Hopefully he's around here, though. Okay. I see an ornithopter basilisk. That bodes well. Fucking like chicken. Another basilisk? They die in like a second, remember? At least though their poison isn't... Like... Transferable, I guess I'd say. Mm. Where's okay. this wizard? There's a lot of basilisks here. Not all of them are ornithopter, so he's probably somewhere out here. Oh, I see him. There he is. He might just be an illusion, but I have a good feeling that has ornithopter on it. An invisible basilisk. Who is this infidel? I will smite you down to the fiery depths of the damned. You do not know me, nor will you have time to make my acquaintance, because I'm going to kill you. My world, you're too late. The howling multitude is already poised on the brink of your mundane world. The howling multitude, I imagine, is something very evil. Okay, so I was hoping that I could lightning bolt him, but I guess... Instead, I'll just have to axe him. Luckily, all wizards wear a sign that says, Please stunlock my ass. As long as I can keep my important knights alive, I should be fine. Oh yeah, he's dead. There we go. Your worthy inheritor of your uncle's mantle, Cornelius, do not forget Valerian Zircon. It holds magic of great magnitude. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Good, got the Zircon, now I'm done. So, my knights one by one shall leave this area. Am I missing one of my knights? No. Yeah, that's all three of them. And why not? Let's just send all the other knights in. Maybe they'll all be left and they'll join me. What does Zircon do again? I forget. It's also ironic too, because there's a... I have magic ingredient from this game called Valerian. Oh god, that poor, poor elf. There's just one elf standing there surrounded by dragons and champions of law and chaos and stuff. Anywho, recruited Zerkay, killed Valerian, found the Zircon. 
that's probably the end of the level. Let's see. What, oh, I remember. Illusion, visibility, and disenchant. Useful, but not useful enough to make it onto my dream team of spells. So, next we're headed to Camelot. We've got all of the magical ingredients that we could possibly want. I think... That might be all of them, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just put in our last experience points. Health is now more important than anything. Another control limit just because, and that should be it. So that game of Mexican starting out. See you next time when we head to Camelot and crash the castle. Hey. Eh?